During this global pandemic, many of us have taken up new hobbies or learned a new skill, such as perhaps sewing or quilting. But sewing and quilting is not just something that you can do yourself, it's also something that you can give as a gift. Here to convince us why we need to do that early and start thinking about that now is Jen Mulder from The Electric Needle. Hey Jen, how are you? I'm well, thanks. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. So obviously we're still in the middle of a global pandemic. How much, if at all, is The Electric Needle affected by that? So uh, with manufacturing and chip shortages, coupled with the transportation issues that we're hearing about, um, you know, the forecasts for new machines and getting new product is, is, it seems to be pushing farther out into, you know, it's on the water, it's on a train, right. it's, you know, and it's so. It's waiting somewhere. Right, it yeah. seems like things are really still slowing down and rather than I was hoping they would get faster, so. <laughs> right, it seems like business probably ramps up for some people, but the ability to actually move product and sell has slowed down quite a bit, unfortunately. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Do you have sewing machines available for purchase right now? We do. Uh, thankfully, I've been kind of aggressive in my ordering, and so I have been able to keep things in stock. I have a number of different price points right now available. Um, and so, yes, there, there are opportunities to go ahead and treat yourself or someone else in your life. Good to know, good to know. And, you know, obviously there are classic brands of, or lines, I should say, of sewing machines that we're aware of. Are there any new lines that you're starting to carry that are becoming available? So we have been Faf Viking and Handy Quilter, and we just um, became a Singer Elite dealer. Oh, wow, okay. And so that's one of the classic brands. Right, yeah. However, the Elite machines are going to have a more robust chassis and a stronger motor than what you could get in, say, a mass channel marketplace. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. I don't know what any of that really means as far as the chassis. Can you explain a little bit of, of that to me, for a lay person? Yeah, so um, the chassis is the part of the machine that everything is connected to. So okay. your motors, your shafts, your needle bar, um, your hook. And so when you've got a machine that doesn't have a chassis, you could take the box, think it's a sewing machine, pick it up and like toss it to the ceiling. Um, and oh, wow. so you really want a machine that's sturdy because that will make it um, perform better in the long run. And you know, if you've got a really small motor, you know, doing maybe a jeans hem would be difficult because it's thick. Sure. And so uh, these machines are sturdy and have stronger motors than what you might find at Walmart or Target. So there are some machines that don't have chassis. There are. Interesting. Very yeah. interesting. So how about uh, in the area of quilting and long arm? Is there anything new to report there? Yeah, we actually are, um, we've ordered in the Handy Quilter Moxie. Mm -hmm. And the Moxie is really a movement towards owning every stitch on your quilt. Mm -hmm. So it is an, an easier price point for more people. It's got um, different options for footprint, for space considerations in your house and we're gonna have it in the store and we are anticipating getting the Pro Stitcher Lite, the robotic system for it, mm -hmm. um, in November. Okay, and that's a, a quilting machine? Yes. Is that, okay. Yep. And, and is that different from long arm? What is long arm? What does that mean when someone says long arm? So a long arm machine is generally speaking a machine that has a very long throat in it okay. and you move the machine and it does the quilting for you. That oh, last okay. step of putting the whole quilt sandwich together Okay. And so that's what that's what a long arm is. And so this is um, a, a new style of um, handy quilter. And you guys do a lot of repairing of sewing machines and, and other uh, things like that. What is the current turnaround times for some of these repairs right now? So our current estimate is three weeks. And okay. that is if we don't require um, ordering of parts. Some parts are still, we're struggling to get them in, right. um, as we discussed earlier. <laughs> right. Right. Um, but for you know annual maintenance, we can definitely take care of that in the three week time frame. And then we are still offering the ability for you to call in and get an appointment so that it would just be a few days to, that you would be without your machine. And so we're, we're continuing with making appointments as well. And those are about three weeks out as well. So if your machine still works and you can kind of get along, limp along for a little while, it's better to make an appointment so that you can still use it when you need to and yes. then bring it in and only be out without it for a few days. That's good to know. Yep. You guys also, we just have a few seconds left, but you guys also sell fabric mm -hmm. at your store and you're uh, offering a discount uh, through the end of October. You want to tell us about that real quick? Yep. In, um, 
celebrating uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we are having 20% um, off all pink fabric for the month of October, so through the end of the month. Okay, and you just walk in and buy that and you get 20% off. Yep. Excellent, excellent. Well, Jen Mulder, thank you so much for being here with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Look for the car with the ducks on it. It's over <laughs> on the uh, West Belt Line. This is Jen Mulder from The Electric Needle, and we're Talk Wisconsin, and we'll be back. <laughs>